Hey guys! I lately saw a video on YouTube from Officially Loomed. Uh, his channel is very cool, you should really check it out. Um, he was making an earbud cover. You know that feeling f that your earbuds are always tingling, tangling and um, well it takes you a while to get it right and all that stuff. Well, he was making an earbud cover to make the wire a little thicker and that will help you to stop it from tangling. Now, he was making a very strong one which was not really flexible and I'm gonna show you another earbud cover which is based on the uh, fishbone bracelet single fishbone bracelet and it's a little more flexible so you can still roll it up but it will help you to stop from tangling so let's go okay so what you need is of course a uh, rainbow loom um, well yeah you can use one of these or or one of these, it doesn't have to be replaceable or something uh, well I like this one better so I'm gonna use this one uh, you wanna take out the middle one, we're not gonna use it <coughs> and make sure that your openings are right here <coughs> Um, well, of course you need earbuds, that would be nice, and a hook, and you're gonna need, of course, rainbow um, rubber bands. Now, I'm making a nice pattern, like this. I hope you can see the color. I guess not. I'm constantly using a uh, six black one, then six orange, six black, six pink, six black, six green, black, uh, purple, black, yellow, black, um, blue. So that's gonna be my pattern. And actually I'm using the colored ones are actually glow in the dark. And I'm using those because I like to lie in bed at night and still listen to a little bit of music before I go to sleep. And I as you saw I had a uh, black earbuds earbuds. So sometimes I just lose them at night. I just I can't find them anymore and I was thinking what if I use glow-in-the-dark rubber bands maybe that helps me from uh, not losing my earbuds because you know they glow in the dark so I can always find them back alright so let's get started you're only gonna use two pins so take two you like, I'm just taking the beginnings and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a black rubber band twist it and place it on the other pin now you're gonna take two more rubber bands and just place them normally, don't twist them just place them as you always do, it's just like a fishbone, like I said, a, fi a basic fishbone bracelet. So now you got these. And now you're gonna take your earbud, make sure it's not tangled right now. And mine is, so I'm gonna get it out of tangling. You have a little moment. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, you're gonna take your earbud, and I'm having a plug like this one. And 
you're just you're gonna place it beneath and you're taking one of these I hope you can see it um, my image is a little blurry okay uh, wait a minute hey guys I'm back and as you can see I got a much sharper image right now um, so I was talking I have a twisted rubber band on beneath and then I see it's twisted and then I got two rubber bands above it which are just normally on two pins now I got my earplug and I'm gonna put it right there so on one side of the twisted uh, rubber band it doesn't matter where and you're gonna put it through all the other rubber bands like that and you're gonna get it through it so you got this now and that's actually the whole thing no it's just the same thing as uh, looming uh, fishbone braces so you're taking the um, the first rubber band all the way down and you're gonna put it over it like that and you do that at the other side as well now this one is black so you won't see it very well but well it's around my earplug now so we're going to take another black rubber band because I was doing six rubber blacks and you're going to put it on those two pins again but you want it to be around your earplug so you're going to put it around your earplug and you're going to put it on those pins um, doing it with one hand right now but it would be easier if you got two hands of course which I do have of course but <laughs> well I'm filming right now so here you go and you're gonna do the same thing again you're gonna grab your rubber band all the way down and it goes all the way up keep it a little in the middle and there you go now we're gonna do that again I got six black ones so keep those other rubber bands a little bit down on your pins so that it would be easier to get it on again and it would be sometimes it's nice to hold your earplug so it's not getting down again it will get better later so here we go again we're just going to loom and as you can see already it's wrapping around your plug so we're going to do one more black you can also just put it on those pins first and then put it Oh, put it on those pins and then put it over your earplug see that's possible too it's what you like but I'm gonna show you another trick later so here we go again we're just gonna loom those two like a normal basic fishbone bracelet there we go now I got my orange ones and yeah let me show you this trick right now because uh, now it's only a short part but it will get harder to get it all the way down your wire so what you best do is you're gonna 
bring your wire all the way through it until you are right at where you want to be, which is here. Because then it would be easier. Of course now you got a lot of wire where you got your rubber bands to get through first, but I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, of course you, you got those two loose rubber bands as you always have in the beginning. And as you can see, it's not full. There goes my camera. This is going to be a nice blooper. Okay, so as you can see, your wire is here, not really in the middle. Because you got those two loose bands over here. If you like to have it in the middle, you just take one of those bands, like here. And you're going to put the rest of your wire with your earbuds through this one. So, you got, you really need to have two hands for this, so I hope you can see it. But you got this rule band, and you're going to put your wire through it. all the way with your earplugs. There you go. So now, as you can see, you got it right in the middle. You see? And, well, it's still a little loose, of course, but it will get better once you're further. So, as I told you, we have a long wire where all your rubber bands have to go through. So, what you can do is, I'm going to take all the six rubber bands of the orange color that I'm going to use and I'm going to put it all over my earplug. All over it. See? And we're just going to bring that down all the way to my loom. See, now I got all the rubber bands on my loom, on the wire. So now you just have to take one of these, I'm going to put the rest behind a little bit. You don't have to be afraid it will fall off because you still have a lot of wire. So you're just going to hold it down a little bit. And you take one of the orange bands and you kind of put it over those two pins. There you go. I'm going to take my hook again. I'm going to loom where we were. There you go. Oh, I don't have to put it back. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take an orange one again. And just put it over those two pins again. I hope you can see this color a little bit. And you're just going to loom the last black one over it. Make sure it stays a little in the middle. That would make it easier for you to loom. There you 
go. And you're going to take another orange rubber band, put it over those pins, and you're going to loom just like a normal basic fish bone. Now if you don't know how to do a basic fish bone, this is it. If you want to have an extra tutorial, go search on the internet because you really got a lot of tutorials how to do a basic fishbone bracelet. And this is just the same thing. If you really want to make a fishbone bracelet and you're like, oh I like this, well then I advise you to go search on the internet. I'm not gonna show you a whole how to do a basic fishbone bracelet on the loom because you got lots of those tutorials so why would I make another one, right? I'm just going to show you how to do an ear pluck. So we're just looming a fishbone and as you can see I have my last orange rubber band here. There you go. I'm going to loom that one. And as you can see, I have already a part of... Look, you can still see my black wire through this one, but I kind of like it. It gives you that leather effect. I don't know if you have seen the uh, leather bracelet looms, but this actually gives that kind of effect. I like it. I do like it. And I like the combination with black too. Speaking of black, I'm gonna put six black ones on again. And we're gonna put it all over the wire again because that's a lot easier to do it all at once or else you gotta... well, do it every time you take a rubber band and that's just not that takes you a lot of time. This is easier I think. So I got all those rubber bands on the wire again. I'm gonna put it down a little bit and hold it. It's nice to hold your a uh, wire of your earplug around one of those pins and and keep those bands over here. Because now the bands won't fall off easily and it's nice to have your wire a little um, a little tightened. It's easier to work I think. So we're going to take another black black rubber band, put it on those pins, oh, and we're going to loom. We're just going to continue to loom. And another one. and another one la 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 it's just looming a fishbone I'm just gonna loom those black ones for you and then I'm gonna stop the video because as I told you this is just a basic fishbone bracelet looming and well it's it was my first bracelet I made on a rainbow loom and I bet it was kind of everyone's first bracelet a fishbone 
because that's just the easiest loom technique and it's just easy to learn and easy to begin with so I guess we all know how to do that and if you don't as I told you just search for a tutorial but we all uh, well this is just a basic rainbow fishbone fishbone loom and as you can see the wire is just between it and well that's what I'm gonna do with all those colors and with glow in the dark this is glow in the dark I don't know if you can see that no you can't see that it's still light right now but yeah I'm just gonna continue looming my um, earbud cover with a normal basic fishbone and I'll be back when I'm finished so I'll see you in a moment hey guys um, my battery is running low so I'm gonna finish real quick quick as you can see I loomed the heck out of me and I'm now at the ending I didn't do it all the way as you can see I still got a piece left um, well I got a little tired I'm already busy almost for two hours so it, you don't have to go all the way down if you want to stop sooner if if you find this long enough then that's good um, so I got my last rubber band I just put it on and I'm gonna loom it so I'm gonna take the one beneath and put it over it just like that like we always did and just like a bracelet you're gonna put these one over as well so you're gonna put it over it and then you got only one rubber band left on your pins this one is the one who's holding back all of these so you don't want to put it off just like that well with the bracelet you would normally take a clip you can do that with this also but I think that would be ugly so we're not going to do that I'm going to show you some other technique some other way you take your plug and you're going to put it in your rubber band where, where your pin is so you're going to put it through and then you can take it off your pin and you're going to do that at the other side as well so you hold back the rest so you got a little space you're going to put your plug in it and take off your pin now as you can see you have a very nice normal ending so that's basically it and you can model it around a little bit sometimes it's a little weird like this and the other side is very close so you can model it a bit so it would be good on both sides you can also twist it if you like but maybe that will get more tangled I don't know I'm gonna just keep it straight and you can stretch it out a little bit so that you're you don't have to go on forever but be careful because if you stretch it very long very well like this then as you can see your wire will get through it and this is what happens and you don't want that to happen because we're doing this to prevent from tangling so you can stretch it out a little bit but be careful and don't do it too much okay so this is my whole wire and so it's a long end so yeah that's it you got a nice ending and we had a good beginning so that's it and uh, well you can play with all the colors you like of course 
and uh, yeah I hope you liked my video and uh, I'm very happy with it as you can see it's not tangling at all and um, I'm very happy with it I hope you liked my tutorial I hope you're gonna do it as well and um, comment and like and tell me what crazy creations you made and tell me if you like this tutorial if it helps you because this is the first time I do it so please give me tips if you got some and um, yeah thank you for watching and have fun looming <laughs>